everyone, greetings from Belgium. It's the 27th of December, it's almost New Year and yesterday night I have finished all my dolls for 2017 and it's, it's difficult to believe but in 2017, in this year, I have made 54 doll repaints. I think it's, it's pretty long. And uh, so now, the 2017 is almost over. And now it's time for me to think about new projects, about what I'm going to do in 2018. And today I'm going uh, for some special doll shopping. Uh, because I think it's enough to remain just monster high dolls because there are lots of other dolls and yeah, different creatures, uh, toys in the world and I think they're all waiting for me to be repainted, to be customized and today I'm going to go to a couple of shops so of course I will go to the toy shop uh, to see maybe I can buy something for my New repaints, and I'm also going to go to some sort of dollar shop uh, to see if there's also something for us. So you can hear New Year is in the air here in Bruges, and we are going shopping. Let's go. So, and um, this is the first shop I'm going to, and this is some sort of like dollar show. And uh, yeah, what am I doing here actually? Because I thought that. Of course, for many beginners artists, it's of course a little bit difficult, shocking, and too expensive to start immediately working on original Monster High dolls because, of course, it's painful to buy a doll of 20, 25, 30 dollars and then just remove everything, cut hair off, remove makeup, and, and you have no idea if it's gonna even work. So I was thinking to check what do they have in such a cheap shop, dollar shops and maybe we can find here a little bit cheaper alternative to Monster High dolls that would be in a beyond such a good alternative for beginners and artists to start, to train, to, to practice and to not pay like some insane a lot of money for this doll so let's see what they have here like this one is kind of Barbie like but this is Moxie Girls and it cost 8 euro but I don't know if this kind of doll can be considered like a fake Barbie from a dollar shop I'm not really I'm not really sure about it you know before you really you came to all these cheap shops and you can find everywhere lots of dolls of one to three dollars and now everything looks so decent and expensive so what do they have here they have this moxie moxie doll bow bow and arrow shooter you can try this one it's like a lexa doll of eight dollar and here are some more dolls here is again this bow shooter like you've seen i don't know what i'm thinking about lately i'm thinking about trying to repaint such a style doll hat i think it can be funny because it's like big enough and also for beginners i will be able to show probably a little bit better how you can repaint or draw certain details of doll face yeah, I think I'll take this one and here is another one Barbie like this one is from Descendants but again it's difficult to say are these kind of dolls are fake dolls or are these dolls are the original they're maybe like, really, like their own brand dolls so this is what I don't really understand L write me in the comment because I'm not, not that professional in it and I think that this is it. So let's pay and go farther. So it was the first shop here. I've got just this styling doll hat. But I think it can be interesting because it's quite big and I can really show more detail how to draw and paint certain details. And now we're going more to the city center. And then I'm going to go to normal toy shop and try to find something there 
And by the way, you know, it's like everybody's talking about beautiful city of Bruges. But actually, if you're just driving like to the city center of Bruges, you will see this. <laughs> They're already probably for a year or even for a year and a half busy with some reconstruction here in the city center. So it's like everything looks just little here, some bomb exploded or something like this. But we all hope that in another year or year and a half. This center of Bruges will become absolutely beautiful with parks and fountains and places to rest and everything that they are promising there. So, and now let's go a little bit closer to the middle of the city and see what they have especially for me in the normal toy shop. Let's find the dolls, I remember there's somebody here on the right side, yep, here they are, so we're in normal toy shop and here are all the dolls and what am I looking for, I'm looking for probably another uh, Disney Princess doll, I've made already Cinderella, I've made already Snow White and now I'm looking for and the Ariel doll or maybe, 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 maybe Pocahontas I think she's very pretty I think Pocahontas is a good idea and I'm also looking for some some young, young sisters of Barbie dolls like some skipper dolls or something like this but I've seen none right now Okay, these ones are a little bit too tiny. I was more thinking about like a teenager. Probably just my Belgium and maybe also Dutch uh, followers know it, but here in Belgium we have such a pop group for little girls and uh, it's called Kadri. Kadri because all the three singers, at least the original three singers uh, from the first generation of Kadri, they were all, uh, all their names were starting with the letter K and yeah, there is lots of all kinds of merchandise about it and here we can see the dolls of Kadri but it was the most amazing that uh, all of them, so you see here is like a blonde with a dark hair and a ginger hair but all three dolls have Ah, almost fell down. So the, almost all the three dolls have exactly the same type of face, but they have just different kind of hair. So this one is blonde. Yeah, no, we have here all, all, the, all three of them are blonde. So another one is dark hair, another one is ginger. <laughs> Sorry, but this is this is approximately what I'm looking for when I mean uh, that I'm looking for a Barbie doll from from a dollar shop. But this one, look at her, this absolutely ugly and terrible doll cost 15 year and uh, meanwhile for example this Dracula cost just 13 no some, some, something is wrong here I think so what am I going to buy fortunately I couldn't find here any any skippers or something like this this kind of dolls oh by the way 
By the way, this one's also look good. And maybe I should try to do something with it. And I think it can probably be interesting for me. Let's take a closer look at them. They look interesting, but I think I should first do some research because I don't know enough about these dolls and about these characters, first of all. So I think I will stop at uh, this Pocahontas doll because I really like the way she looks, even the original, even not repainted. So I think we can do something about it. So let's go. <laughs> drugstore and they have here also normally not like a lot of toys but they have toys and sometimes they have really like amazing prices and we will go and have fun here I see here Disney princess dolls just for $9.99 and this is indeed very interesting the choice is not that big that's why it's probably the same but at least uh, this uh, beauty and the beast I can take. Yeah. So um, it was my short express doll shopping. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun for you. And for me it's time to go to work because today is my last working day. And I have approximately three minutes to get there. So let's hurry up. And if I and if I run fast enough, I will even show you the theater where I work. And right now we are crossing the mark of Bruges. And this is actually the theater where I work. This is the state theater, the city theater of Bruges. And today we have some set of special workshops for kids and we're going to help them assist them and everything so i wish you all a super nice weekend a super nice holidays happy new year everyone and i'm going to work wish me luck